Um, my name is Daniel Kearney and I'm one of the youth workers here in Fingers Youth Resource Centre. I work with all young people from all age groups and different backgrounds. And um, I come to the youth centre because I've been going for years and it's been really um, helpful with my social skills and my mental health. I got involved at a young age obviously and I just kept coming down since. I fell in love with it like as soon as I came here it was just a place to get away. All my family was going to it and all. And they said it was good and all my friends was going and I just wanted to go on and I really started liking it. My friend Lee, he told me about this place and I came down and it just, just went, came straight to me like it was just all around brilliant. Love this place, I can't lie. This environment that we provide is one that's safe, one for a young person to grow up in, to be themselves, to express themselves in whatever way they want to express themselves and to feel comfortable and, and to not be judged. The youth centre understands what I've been through and they help me and they're always there for everyone if they need help. Where we'd meet young people for the first time, we'd get to know them, it's all basically around that relationship development. And okay, what's their interests and what's their needs as a young person? And I think it impacts you from so much with these under volunteering and knowing how much they give up just to help you. Because it's voluntary participation, the work that we do. So in order to have young people keep coming back to the centre, they need to be interested. The importance of the centre to the community would be, it's just a place for young people to go to, instead of them being out and around the streets, doing whatever, they can come here and they have a safe place to go to, they won't be judged and they can just have fun with their friends, get food if they need it. If like so a young person wants to get a CV printed or if they want to, they're going through a hard time, you can always go to the centre for that. I'd say it keep young lads who are out up to no good, getting into trouble, maybe possibly with the guards, but to just to keep them off the streets, keep them active, give them something to do. Well, I think the first project I ever did here was the sports leadership and that was a great project and I was certified from that and that really brought me out of my shell and got me working with young people first and it was just amazing. Like when I did that I realised I wanted to be a youth worker. I did another one was motiv motivational interviewing and I learned a lot of key skills like to listen more in social situations and to uh, be more self-aware of myself and... and I was also involved in an exchange uh, not too long ago I started on July and then we went to the Netherlands for a week and then they sure enough came over here last week. The key aims of strategic part for me I suppose is around us as a service to continue doing what we're doing at the moment uh, but to be more ambitious and that to continue to work on their development as young people but again to look at taking it to the next level, to look at providing greater opportunities for those young people as well. The whole exchange in general um, helped me learn about myself and my mental health because the whole exchange was based around mental, physical, nutritional, sexual health. So we do, for example, the Erasmus Plus stuff and all that we do, we look at those wider uh, opportunities that are available to them. We know how that can support their growth as young people. I got some things that I wouldn't have known before about myself and how I treat myself and how I'd feel on a regular basis and how I can tell how others feel according to their health and their mental health and I also learned how to make friends a lot easier. In the future what I'd like to see happen from this report again is for us to I suppose just to grow as, grow as a service and as a I suppose, uh, a response within the community. Obviously, I wouldn't want it to shut down, you know, so it can give me my turn to come in and help out. And I'm certain volunteering now, but I want to become a youth worker, so. Uh, the self-care element is, is massive. We have the, the, the mental health service that we have at the moment, uh, Hear Me Out pro project, and I suppose to continue to grow that, but not only grow that, I suppose, grow our overall learning and development and response to any mental health issues that young people have and to continue to promote, I suppose, self-care and uh, the development of young people in general, you know.